views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, the Astrology Network on YouTube, and over in Facebook, our group on spiritual awakening and awareness, which is called Knowing Whispers, Messages from the Universe. I've changed the title of this video. I originally, I think I stated in the group, the community, that it was going to be Trump the Agitator. I'm going to change that to a title called Trump American Monster. And you can see here on the screen in front of you that I'm putting out here an image that asks the question, is Donald Trump the Antichrist? And for those of you that have watched my videos over the years, you noticed that several years ago I began to infer this possibility in some of the comments that I made and some of the videos that I did. And I'm sure that there are many people, if you go into Google Images, you'll find images like this all over the place that have a suspicion about this particular thing. And then you'll have an equal amount of people that say, phooey, that's a bunch of malarkey, okay? And to be honest, you know, nobody definitively absolutely knows for certain. In fact, years down the road, when people look back on this particular period of time, they probably will have a better insight, but not an absolute certainty if in fact this is the case as it may be. And I think before I actually get into this particular video that I need to <clears throat> talk about some other things. One of the things that I want to talk about has to do with the book of Revelation um, because this goes kind of hand in hand with this concept of the Antichrist. And for those of you that are travelers on the astral plane, for those of you that um, are able to project onto the astral plane. Uh, I'm sure that what I'm saying now that you understand this, that anything that you see or experience on the astral plane is heavily symbolic and oftentimes very ambiguous in your ability to be able to know with absolute certainty what you are seeing and experiencing. And I'm saying this because so many of you that maybe have a Christian background were scared to death about the book of Revelation and that um, along with other particular religious doctrine you may uh, be holding on to ideas that maybe have been more fully explored and understood uh, and that this can cause a great deal of anxiety amongst people. But what I'm trying to hit upon here is the fact that even the most pure um, being in terms of their relationship with their higher self. When it comes to visions and things of this nature, you're not absolutely certain. There may be possibly a very small percentage of individuals that have been given the opportunity to experience these things and that are on target for what could evolve. Uh, and again, when you go back to the book of Revelation, okay, which has been written about, uh, in some cases, very eloqu eloquently by both Christian and non-Christian people. Um, I think that you have to err on the side of caution and admit to yourself that this is a 
allegory in itself, a symbolic allegory of things in the future that potentially could unfold, all right? And that may include the things that we see that are happening right now. Okay, so the question here that I'm going to be talking to you about is around this concept of is Donald Trump the Antichrist? And I'm going to use astrology to not specifically say for certain that this is the case, but to show you the ways in which he has been ordained to disrupt the energies of what we know as the United States of America. In other words, I'm going to be taking the astrology of the chart of the United States of America and the astrology of the chart of Donald Trump, and I'm going to show you why the interaction okay of those two energies okay why it's manifesting the way that it is right now okay uh, for those of you that are astrologers i think you'll appreciate the fact of these things that i'm showing you maybe you have or have not used this technique in your own work but one of the things that you'll find out here if you're open to this is the fact that a lot of astrology uh, essentially is focused upon either the birth chart or transits and progressions moving forward into the future. Some astrologers will have um, have the opportunity to show the connection between things that seem shouldn't be related. Okay, like how do you relate? All right, the chart of the United States of America and the birth chart of Donald Trump. What could they possibly have in common? Okay. Well, this enters into the area of, quote, oneness. And what I mean by this is that our logical mind only wants to see things separate. Okay. The past, the present, and the future. The thing that the mind has a very difficult time doing is showing how these things are all connected. Okay. Uh, sometimes in our lives, when things happen to us, uh, we tend to look at those things as unfortunate experiences that are happening in the now or that could be happening in the future. What we have a hard time comprehending is how this particular situation could possibly um, be something which we are wanting to happen or that is destined or fated to happen, okay? And then again, this enters into this realm of karma, okay? And I think that if most astrologers that are also very much dedicated to their own inner life meditatively, that at some point in time, this question begins to come into your mind, is that, uh, is karma very significant in the life of people? Is it significant in my life? And uh, how can this be shown astrologically? Well, I'm going to try to do this to you in this video today. I'm going to show you how a country established in 1776 is being influenced by a man who was born in 1946. And if you really think this thing through, you have to come to the conclusion, okay, that was this foreordained? Was this fated? Okay, this is actually happening. We can see this, okay? But what is it about life that can allow this to happen with two charts that are so far apart in terms of time and space? So I think that you'll enjoy what I'm going to be showing you here, that maybe it'll make you think a little bit more about when you're doing charts and looking at people's lives, how these uh, other factors can enter in and enrich your ability to uh, explain to a client all right, why certain things are happening. So let's go to the very first chart that I have here beyond this introductory chart that I've got. All right, this is the chart of the United States of America, and this is the chart of Donald Trump. And I'm going to draw your attention to two things here, which I'll be discussing throughout this particular video because they're so critical to you understanding why it is that he has such a, quote, dire effect upon 
the United States, and in essence, the world itself. One of these has to do with Uranus. <clears throat> the Uranus of Donald Trump's natal chart, the position that is in by birth in relationship to the planet Mars. All right. The other thing is at birth, the position of his Neptune as it squares this particular Jupiter here in the United States chart. These are two points in the chart of the United States of America that are pointing to the fact that this individual is going to have a very disruptive, unusual impact upon the United States of America, that it would affect the people in the United States of America, because we're talking about the seventh house cusp here, or the seventh house itself, all right? The other thing here that adds to this is the fact that in Donald Trump's natal chart, he has Eris, Stripe and Discord, opposing Neptune, squaring that Jupiter and essentially also Venus. And the way I interpret this opposition here, with Eris being Stripe and Discord and Neptune being uh, an energy that is mysterious and confusing and otherworldly, okay, is essentially strife and discord through confusion, lies, um, you know, things of that particular nature that are confusing to the mind and that are not truthful. Which, for those of you who've been watching my videos and those of you that are following the news and those of you that are even doing your own astrological work, you know this is the energy of what we see happening. And the thing that is hard to wrap your brain around is how, how is this possible? How could one individual have this much power to disrupt? Okay. Well, again, this is where this concept of karma comes in. All right. It's not by luck or by misfortune of fate that Donald Trump was elected president of the United States. If you knew his horoscope, if you were able to take the horoscope of the United States at that time, and to analyze them, you would see that there is a fit, a out of time and space fit as to why these two entities are brought together and for a particular purpose. So this is what I'm going to be focusing on. Okay. And the main thing here, uh, primarily is keeping your eye on this Uranus right here, because you're going to see this Uranus move. Okay. You're going to see it move and progress itself and then the impact of what we have seen during his presidency and which still lingers right now okay so neptune eris uranus all right we're going to go forward a little bit here and this is just uh, another view here here's neptune squaring jupiter you can see that it's very close okay in terms of the impact all right um and as you go down through here, you can see that Neptune squaring Eris, okay, uh, in the chart. That's this Neptune here squaring Eris, okay, the USA Eris, all right. So you have these energies, okay, affecting one another, aggravating, agitating, okay, one another. Um, we go forward here, another image. All right, this is the last one of this particular one having to do with his natal chart. Okay, and down here you can see Eris again squaring the natal Jupiter in the United States. And of course, going here into this particular house, when you're talking about Jupiter, Jupiter has to do with law, the arts, higher education, okay, philosophy, foreigners. All right, and when you're talking about this conjunction of Jupiter conjuncting this, the uh, planet Venus in the seventh house, representative of the nature of the people who are a part of or born into the United States of America, you're talking about their peace of mind and their joy. And of course, all of these hard aspects from these planetary energies are affecting that and this is the energy being represented by the um, the fear and the disquietness 
okay? The um, confusion, the bewilderment that we are all experiencing, and the agitation and the anger. This is Eris's energy. This is Neptune's energy. And as I said in one of my previous videos regarding um, this Neptune in Donald Trump's chart, okay, on one level, you could say that Neptune has to do with otherworldly influences and it can do with enlightenment and things like that. Um, and that's true. And on another level, you can say that it has to do with deception and it has to do with confusion and things, and it does. But when you take this into a karmic arena, you're talking about the influence of a force that is totally illogical totally beyond the scope of reason and logic with Saturn. And as a result of that influence and that power, it is able to overwhelm and overpower the minds of those who are not intimately connected within themselves to the truth about themselves and life. In other words, they are able to be swayed. They are able to be persuaded, to be influenced, to be drawn into a cult. Okay, Neptunian energy very much is a cult type energy. So we have this energy here, okay, of the joyfulness of the concept of America, all right, and how that has been a part of the American dream, if you want to call it that. And it's under assault, all right. Now, also Mars in the sign of of Gemini, communications of all kinds being impacted by the energy of Uranus. Uranus having to do with sudden spontaneous change. Oftentimes they uh, consider Uranus and Mars an aspect between the two planets to be the indication of a wreck, of a collision. Donald Trump very much has been a collision on the consciousness of America by the way that he speaks, the way that he acts, very disruptive, very confusing, very bewildering. Um, many people wonder, I'm sure you may wonder, you know, as well as I do marvel at the fact that how can anybody continue to lie and lie and lie and lie, okay? To my way of understanding, it's only a particular person that knows for certain what their mission is, what their purpose is, what their karma is, okay? And I made this comment on several occasions that Donald Trump is the way that he is because that's who he is. And on a very deep level with inside of himself, he's very assured and very certain of what he is to do, okay? What purpose he is to play in the unfoldment, okay? And this is very unusual, all right? This takes us into that realm of consideration of could this man be the Antichrist, okay? And again, what I said earlier when I was beginning to talk about this particular video, nobody knows for absolute certainty, okay? Nobody can know, all right? And all of the stuff that's been written about the Book of Revelation and all of the things that we experience in, on the astral plane, as I mentioned, it's all very symbolic and very nebulous, okay? And to know for absolute certainty, uh, something that is, these things are kind of hidden from us, okay, or only given to those that have a need to know, all right, and that have the strength not to interfere, okay, and uh, as I try to show you over the last several years through the videos that I've done, that even the discipline like astrology, which is very helpful in showing you who you are, showing your connection to life and the experiences that you go through, okay? Even in its ability to do many of those things without some deep inner spiritual awakening, conscious realization, okay? We're limited in our knowledge of what life is all about, of what our life is all about of what karma really means, of what fate and destiny, and how does that work with free will. It is very complex, and it's almost a situation to where it has to reveal itself to you, and then you probably won't be able to talk about it very well because of the fact that it doesn't follow any logic and reasoning. Okay? So, 
Now, you may be asking yourself, okay, this is all fine and dandy. Where is this going? All right. Well, what I'm going to do here is to take you to another chart. All right. This is the progressed chart, okay, of Donald Trump. This is the chart, again, of the United States of America. And I want to show you here. When Donald Trump was inaugurated on January the 20th, 2017, Uranus, his Uranus, had progressed to the point of being extremely coached within about five minutes, okay, of Mars in the chart of the United States of America. And as you know from things that I've shared with you about astrology, that there are some things in a horoscope that are like a bold stamp of approval. One of those has to do with the closer that an aspect is to a planet, the stronger the effect or the manifestation of that energy. Okay. The other thing has to do with retrograde and particularly stationary retrograde okay, or stationary direct planets. They're very powerful. Okay. This is something that a Vedic astrologer just accepts. This is the way that it is. And they note that because of the fact that this is what oftentimes indicates the unusualness of why somebody who you may not think is going to have an impact, all of a sudden they are thrust by karma, fate, and destiny into an event and an experience that is meant to be, that is going to happen. Okay? So... Here we have the situation where in the natal chart of Donald Trump, okay, versus the USA chart, Uranus was fairly close, but now in by progression in 2017, it is extremely close. And this irritation, this agitation, this train wreck of Donald Trump, okay, on the people of the United States of America was set in motion by him being elected president of the United States in 2017 and then having to endure what happened through the four years that he was president with Uranus, okay, conjuncting Mars. And again, I want to take you back to this concept of karma and fate and destiny. How is it, all right, how is it that the universe, okay, could align a country, the birth chart of a country, with somebody who was born hundreds of years into the future. How is that possible? You know, that will make your brain go, you know, <laughs> what's going on? That type of thing. Um, and again, until that's something which is revealed to you, quite honestly, it is hard to comprehend that. Okay because of the way that we view astrology, because of the way maybe that we have learned or accepted astrology. So this is where it was in 2017. And then I have one more image here. And then before I do that, I'm going to also uh, talk about this situation down here. All right. In Trump's secondary progress chart, you'll notice here that Neptune has gotten closer in its opposition to Eris the dwarf planet okay and again when planets get very close to one another they indicate a strengthening of the energy a strengthening of its manifestation okay and then by just the I guess you might call it the principles of orbs the closer the planets are to these particularly energies that have gotten stronger the greater the tendency that they're going to affect these other planets so again this Jupiter while it is not at six degrees Okay, the strength of this opposition is so strong that no doubt it has an impact still upon this particular Jupiter. All right, and this can have to do with politics, his effect upon politics, his effect upon the mindset of the people in the United States of America. Okay, uh, his effect upon the judicial system. All right. This is that very powerful Neptune, which, if you'll remember when I talked about that in the other video, this planet right here is very close to stationary direct, which makes it extremely powerful, okay, along with his Jupiter, okay. All right, let's go to the last chart here. 
Okay. Just, this was done on July the 7th, 2023. All right. The progression of Trump's Uranus is about five minutes away, okay, from that Mars. So all that time, okay, prior to the election in 2017 until now, Uranus has been sitting very close to that Mars in the sign of Gemini. Communications, disruptive communications, aggressive communications, intimidating, okay, threatening types of energy that it's like, it's almost like he's saying, I'm going to change you whether you like it or not. I'm going to change from the democracy to autocracy whether you like it or not. Okay? It's that kind of in your face, you know, type of statement that we see manifesting in his behavior towards, you know, politics, uh, towards government, towards the law. Okay? And um, as I try to share in many of my videos uh, and trying to help you to understand this when you're talking about you know someone like Donald Trump uh, when you talk about what's happening in America when you're talking about the situation regarding the political parties there is not and never will be logic to it there may be the ability to psychoanalyze it okay but that won't stop it all right that won't stop it because we're talking about a karmic factor, all right? We're talking about the fact that Donald Trump is meant, was meant to have this impact upon America. And the likelihood of him totally going away, okay, is something that I'm sure that most of you wish would happen, but there's every possibility that that's not going to be the case, that he has not yet accomplished the purpose for which he was born, which is to assist in the process of shaking us awake, okay, shaking us awake to our own responsibility and our own spiritual needs, as well as our own spiritual purpose and mission. Uh, many of you are awake and are awakening. Many of you are having your lives disrupted. Many of you feel probably fearful and confused. And you're being strongly encouraged to develop a stronger relationship within yourself, with your guidance and your higher self. And that really is the big lesson that we're all being thrust into at this particular point in time. And really a matter of how many people will listen you know the old saying he that hath the hears to hear let him hear um, many are listening but also many are not listening and many will not listen okay all right I hope that you appreciate and can enjoy the information here uh, and take it for you know what it's worth face value and uh, Maybe it will cause you to look at astrology differently or to have a more critical view of Donald Trump and understanding why it is he's able to get away with all this that he's doing, okay? Imagine the impact, okay, upon the election in 2024. If Donald Trump manages to get away with no jail time, a slap on the wrist, and he's able to be elected president of the United States. Imagine what that will do to the mindset of the world and Americans, okay, to put into office again a criminal, a liar, a cheat, okay, and that if he is given that position of power again and given that, that, um, that power, okay, by that situation, he is going to ruthlessly assert that privilege and go after his enemies and also go after more, more control to the point where it'll be almost impossible for anybody to take him out of that position. Okay, he'll own the government, he'll own the Congress, okay, he'll own Americans through fear and he will attempt to broaden that power uh, 
on the world stage. And the question is, is whether or not the other oligarchs, the other, other autocrats will let him do that. Okay, again, I, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Share it on the internet if you'd like. Comment if you'd like. I'd like to hear your comments and, and opinions upon something like this. And um, we hope that um, you are doing everything you can to stay centered and stay balanced and not to become too overwhelmed by the chaotic circumstances that are happening all around us. It seems that, you know, one day, it's like breathing, you know, it's like labored breathing. It's like one day you just kind of go, oh, boy, you know, it seems like things are settling down. And then within a very short period of time, you, you see something on the Internet or on TV. And it's like you go, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. Somebody do something. Somebody do anything. You know, and the only real comfort that I or my partner CJ can share with you is that even though emotionally we don't like what we see happening, there is a deeper purpose in what is happening, a deeper planned purpose for what is happening and what will happen. And unless we find peace with inside of ourselves, unless we come to that you know, realization, um, we could cause ourselves a great deal of suffering. Okay, uh, again, I want to offer, for those of you that watch these videos, come on over to Facebook, to the Facebook group, Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe, um, and join us over there. You will learn a lot about your relationship with your higher self, spiritual awakening, and inner healing. Okay? All right. From the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, my best friend, um, love of my life, we thank you. For those of you that are members and those of you that subscribe to this channel, for those of you who comment, uh, you are appreciated. It is uh, a great comfort to us to know that you are listening to what we share and that you appreciate often what it is that we're discussing. Okay, I hope you have a great week and I look forward to the next video with you and I will be getting off here as soon as I can find out where my button is. Okay, I'm going to hit this button and stop it. Why didn't it stop? There we go. I'm testing one, two, three. Hmm. <sighs>